Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, hold on. He's right. If you'll excuse me, Congressman, urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. What the hell is he up to now? He's like a, like a Greek god or something, you know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since college. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Oh, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again?
A few stupid moments later. Dahlia, Helmut here. Remind me again, where were you supposed to meet? Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, then come see me right away. One eternity later. Touch up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. Won't take a second. Appreciate it. Access to the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolis. Nicely done, 47. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting? The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show, so Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York, seek out Jessica, and do what you do best. 
The girl is bright, young, beautiful. It should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right. Consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Hmm, last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. Uh -oh. <sighs> We've got trouble. Yes? Well, it's a little late now, isn't it? No, no, I'm gonna deal with this immediately. Selena's a big girl. She knew what she was getting into. Put a detail on her, and if she shows signs of cracking, pull her out. Fine. We'll talk later. Sorry about that, Helmut. So, a toast to a fruitful collaboration. Here, here. Well done, 47. Viktor Novikov is next. Novikov is meeting Max Decker, a senior agent in the Russian FSB. Small world. The FSB has been mounting a criminal case against Novikov, but Decker's boss, FSB Section Chief Nikolai Kamarov, committed suicide only last night. Or perhaps not. Either way, this could be a chance to catch Novikov away from the spotlight. See you now. I will escort you to the rendezvous point. Ah, great. Thank you. Lead the way. Good job. 
job to do. Well, well. No Novikov. Good hunt. Why am I not surprised? Maybe he's fashionably late, sir. Droll, Carson. Mr. Novikov, I'm at the pavilion. We did wait. Then your guide took us to meet you here, so which is it? Well done, 47. Novikov is about to meet with Decker, and you have a front row seat. But parking doesn't expire. So, uh, I, I gotta ask, Mr. Decker. Section Chief Kamarov, what's, uh, is that your handiwork? Look at these hands. I'm a bureaucrat, Carson. I don't go around staging perfect suicides. No, I dare say young Kamarov got a taste of Viktor Novikov. Ask me, he had it coming anyway. Nobody likes an overachiever. In the file. Must be pretty important for Novikov to cop up seven digits. Send it. Mr. Decker. How are things at the office? That's 91 all over again. Kamarov is found dead. Gun in hand. Office locked from the inside. In his safe, evidence that he was leaking state secrets to Link. An FSB section chief, Kremlin's golden boy, and a CIA spy. Like, I don't know who you hired to pull this off, but I want his number. Trust me, you don't. The case file, please. Right, right. Of course, last and only copy. There was an unfortunate server room fire at HQ. Misery loves coming. <laughs> Mr. Decker. <laughs> you know, I do believe this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. The money's being wired to your account. I need to call my guys. <laughs> what? Haven't you heard? I am an honest businessman. Must be done yet, Mr. Decker. That. Take a stroll, would you, Kurt? I'd like to save the moment. You sure that's why, sir? I'll be fine. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit.
How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. I'm sorry, I'm sorry.